I'm recording this unboxing video in early November of 2024. And right about this time every year, I send out in my newsletter, and make sure and subscribe to my newsletter, uh, advice on how to get the best deals over Black Friday and Black November and Cyber Monday in November. And I always include in there my super secret tip on how to save 100% on the things that you're looking at. Want to hear what it is? It's don't buy something just because it's on sale if you don't actually need it. And I know a lot of us end up with a garage full of stuff because we bought it because it was a good deal, but we didn't need it. Well, I broke my own advice. So, and that's how I ended up with this bar. This is the American Barbell Cerakote California Bar. It is by far, I've used it before, I've never owned one. It is by far the single best multi-use barbell on the market. It's just, I never wanted to pony up the money for it. So when they put the zombie green, and as you know, I like green, uh, color on sale for like 239 bucks. And I'll put a link below so you can see if that sale is still running, that has been running for a while. I couldn't say no. The difference is, I need this bar. No, really, I, I do. And I'm gonna show you why when we do the unboxing now. Welcome back to the Gym Crafter YouTube channel, everybody. My name is Tim. I am the head gym nerd here at gymcrafter.com, the website that I built to help ordinary folks like you and I build home and garage gyms that we absolutely love. And you know, part of building something that you absolutely love when we spend so much time in our gym and it becomes a hobby. At some point when you're training, for those of you out there who are still struggling to get into the gym every day, at some point, I promise, if you make a gym that's nice enough and you commit to training that you like, it goes from something that you have to do to something that you get to do. And, and one of the things that I really love doing with my gym is buying things that I don't necessarily need, like a, a stupid amount of barbells for some reason, um, but really they, they make me look forward to coming in to train. And I've had my eye on this California bar for a very long time. Now, if you've watched my podcast episode on how to buy a barbell, what I kind of talk about is the first decision you make when you buy a bar, if you're only gonna have one bar for your gym is whether you want kind of a multi-purpose power bar or whether you want a multi-use bar like this California bar. And most people that I advise on home gyms, if they're only gonna have one bar, I recommend going with a multi-use bar, not a power bar, because this bar is gonna have some features, which I'll show you, that really are conducive to folks who are using this as their only bar. I've always ranked this bar, the specific California bar by American Barbell, as the best multi-use bar. However, I've always felt like kind of a hypocrite because while I'm recommending it as the best because I've used it quite a bit before, I didn't actually own one. And so since it went on sale, I figured that to be kind of as honest as I can with you guys, that if I'm gonna recommend something as the best of something, that I should probably own it. And I did buy this with my own money because it was on sale. American Barbell did not send me this bar. I'm super excited to open it up and show you. I'm also super excited to see exactly what zombie green looks like in real life, because I don't think it's gonna match the walls, but it's still gonna be green, which is cool in my book. So let's get to unboxing this thing. And the first thing that I show in unboxings, and I've done some other American Barbell unboxing, and it's the same every single time. American Barbell does a better job of shipping their bars than anybody else in the world. They have thicker gauge cardboard in their tubes. They've never showed up damaged. Even the tubes have never showed up damaged. These things are bulletproof. I feel like you could make a log cabin out of these things. They're so durable. So let's get this tube opened up see what it looks like inside and get to the unboxing. And there we have it, a zombie green California bar. So first note, this does not look like I thought it would. So this green, uh, if you are a Crayola crayon person, if you were growing up uh, like I did where you basically, we didn't have video games <laughs> and you got a box, if you were lucky, you got a box of the 64. Crayola crayons. This is grass green uh, or possibly a yellow green depending on when you bought your crayons. But that's the color of this. I don't know that this is the color of zombies. I've never seen a zombie. But uh, it's kind of that color. Hopefully it comes across. I'll try in editing to make sure that this, at least on the screen, looks like it really does. Uh, it's not a bad color at all. It's definitely a brighter green than I would normally buy. It's not like the army green like I have on the walls. But green is green and $239 for a 400 and some odd dollar barbell is not a bad deal. So I will take the color for that because all of the California bars are green. They have a ton of different color options. I'll put a link down below. Uh, that will be an affiliate link. So if you do decide you want to buy one of these based on this unboxing, please use that link. It helps the channel out. It helps me out. And it helps me with my barbell addiction, which I have a problem with. So let's take a look at this bar and tell you why I bought it. This is a 28 millimeter shaft, which is common for an all-purpose for multi-use bar. There is no center neural. 
There are dual neural rings on this, which I love. It's going to have nice smooth sleeve spin that is going to be appropriate for your Olympic lifts and your CrossFit style lifting. It's a little bit more sleeve spin, a little bit smoother than you would find from a standard power bar. However, it's not that super fast spin like you would get from a needle bearing bar, which is only good for Olympic lifts. So again, as a multi-use bar, the bar spin is perfect for both your power lifting and your Olympic, Olympic lifting. So this is gonna serve all of those purposes. The lack of a center neural is also for that because if you're doing uh, high pulls or you're doing cleans or you're doing snatches where the center of the bar may come up across your chest, you don't want a neural there because it'll rub off your chest, which is never any good. Uh, like I said, it has dual neural rings. so. I don't know how many people out there are actually competitive lifting, but it has IPF and IWF neural rings. I like the dual neural rings because I like to have specific hand placement, especially when I train people. Uh, I do talk a lot about your hand placement being consistent from lift to lift. And when you come back next week to do the same lift, we wanna make sure your hands are in exactly the same position. And once we've dialed in what that hand position is, the way we mark that is with the rings. Having two rings is a lot easier to do that with. So for those of you who are newer to lifting, this is a, a nice uh, way to go. The 28 millimeter is going to give you a little bit more what's called bar whip, which means the bar is going to bend a little bit easier under heavier loads. That's going to come into play a little bit for deadlifting, although I don't know how much it's gonna come into play on this one for deadlifting, but it is gonna come into play for your, your kind of more ballistic movements where you're using the momentum of the weights and the what's called the whip of the bar to assist with the weights. Now for most people, too many people get caught up in the bar whip. Bar whip is something that advanced lifters can definitely notice and will wanna dial in and have a bar that has a whip that matches the type of lifting that they're doing. For most folks, buying a mixed use bar is their only barbell. I don't know that that matters. Where the 28 millimeters comes into play is if you're buying this as your only bar and it's for your family, 28 millimeters is a good way to go. It's a little bit smaller diameter than a 29 millimeter power bar. And even though that one millimeter seems like a small difference, if you were to grip this and then grip a 29 millimeter bar, you'd definitely be able to tell. And a lot of times with folks in your house, if your spouse has smaller hands, if your kids have smaller hands, baby hands! Sometimes a smaller, diameter is gonna be better for them. So for all of those reasons, that's why I like having a mixed use bar in my gym, not only for myself, when I'm doing that stuff that's more ballistic, when I'm doing snatches, when I'm doing, I do a lot of high pulls and I don't like when that neural rubs across me when I do those. So I really like that I do love having the dual neural rings for that. So I've wanted something like this. The other thing that makes this a mixed use barbell, which I actually really enjoy from American Barbell, if you've watched any of my other American Barbell reviews or unboxings, I talk about this a lot, which is American Barbell does things differently than everybody else. It seems like everybody else got together on a knurling conference someplace and said, okay, this is how we're gonna do volcano neural. This is how we're gonna do more passive volcano neural. This is how we're gonna do mountaintop neural. There's a couple of, of basic types of neural that you see repeated from manufacturer to manufacturer to manufacturer. And American Barbell, none of their bars <laughs> fall into that paradigm at all. I really think that what American Barbell does well is they look at what the purpose of the bar is and what the purpose of neural is. The neural is for you to grip the bar. You wanna be able to have the bar not slip in your hand. You also want, on a bar like this, it's made for higher rep movements, it's made for explosive movements, where you don't, where a sharp neural is gonna rip up your hands. You, know, you don't wanna do 20 reps of something with a power bar's neural. So you want something that sticks, yet you want it to be passive enough to not hurt your hands. And one of the things I love about this California bar is it absolutely sticks in your hand. It's a little bit like grip tape on a skateboard. However, if you go back and look at, I just did an unboxing of their Elite Stainless Steel Power Bar. That has a lot more bite than this does. So it's appropriate to power bar. This one is definitely more passive than that. This is definitely a smoother neural. It's not gonna rip up your hands. You're not gonna feel the need to wear gloves when you're wearing this, but it's still going to stick to you. The best way that I can describe an American barbell if you haven't ever used one is they just stick in your hands, which is the whole point. Like I said, I think when their engineers get together and they design these bars, they go, okay, purpose number one is grip. How do we get grip? but without ripping up your hands. And I think most other manufacturers, what they do is they take a standard power you know, a power bar neural, and then they just sand off the tops or just shave off the tops more so that it loses a lot of its bite. So you're losing grip along with the aggressiveness. So yes, it won't rip up your hands, but you lose a lot of grip. And those passive neural kind of volcano neural bars typically don't have a lot of grip. What I like about this is, like I said, this thing just kind of sticks in your hand. So um, I really, really like the way that this is. So when you're looking at this, another nice thing that's different on American Barbell Bars and every other bar 
They've got a dust seal on the inside of the shoulder, which is gonna keep the bearings inside nice and clean. You're not gonna get dust, you're not gonna get dirt, you're not gonna get chalk in there. A lot of times, chalk getting into your bearing isn't the best thing in the world to happen, and that's not gonna happen on one of these bars. You also have this recessed weld along the outside of the shoulder, which is a trademark of all of the American Barbell bars at this point. They didn't do it on all of their bars originally, but they do now. That's going to add a ton of strength. For their power bars, if you're doing a lot of deadlifting where you're dropping the bar for deadlifts, that comes into play because your sleeve takes a lot of shock. It's gonna be even more important on a bar like this because what happens is when you're doing Olympic lifting, when you're doing CrossFit style lifting, this bar will get dropped from overhead repeatedly and with a decent amount of weight, right? So when you're dropping them repeatedly, you don't want any weak points in these bars. And two things that American Barbell does really wonderfully on a bar like this is number one is that weld. So I know that this sleeve is never gonna break. This thing is just, it's just never gonna break. And the other thing that I like about this is that the tolerances on the American Barbell bars are so tight and so clean when you do drop these bars, it's not like you hear them rattling in the next county. A lot of your major barbell manufacturers who make bars for CrossFit, um, you guys know who I'm talking about. When, when you drop their bars, they just rattle and shake and you can hear them from across the world, right? And with American Barbell bars, they're, they're darn near silent. Another reason that that's important for you guys at home doing lifting at home is a lot of you have families sleeping in the next rooms. If you've got kids, a lot of you can only get up and train early in the morning. And the less noise your stuff makes, the better off you are. And if you want the quietest barbells, whether you're getting a power bar or a mixed use bar like this, American Barbell is going to give you the quietest barbells on the market. So overall, like I said, I've used this before. It's not as nothing here is a surprise for me, except for what the color was gonna look like, which I, I actually kind of dig it. So um, especially like I said, for the price, uh, you could have given me a, a poop brown bar for that price. <laughs> that I probably would have bought it just because I've wanted one of these for a long time and I just haven't wanted to spend the money. But if you're, if you're out there buying a single barbell for your gym and or you're just buying a dedicated mixed use bar for your CrossFit type stuff, I really think you should look at this particular bar, the California bar, like I said. It's ranked by a lot of different people as the best mixed use barbell that you can buy. I definitely agree with that. It's rated on the Gym Crafter website that way. It's definitely gonna be ranked that way now. Uh, I will come back at you with a review once I've used this for a while because I haven't had one in the gym. So we'll see if it lives up to all the hype I just gave it, which it's kind of sounding like an American Barbell commercial, right? I promise. I bought this bar. American Barbell did not pay me to make this video. But uh, hey, as you guys know from watching the channel, I really love their bars. If you're going to buy a barbell, there's very little I don't like about them. As I mentioned in other ones, the only thing I don't like, American Barbell, is your end caps. All of their end caps are the same. They're either red or they're black. They have their logo on them and then they have in writing the 20 kilograms. So all their bars are 20 kg. And then they have the name of the bar. And while that's cool, I get it. Like. Let's spend the money on the quality of the bar. Uh, this is 2024. I think that if this had a cool little zombie on the end, because it was zombie green, something like that. Um, however, as a little teaser for you guys, one product I'm thinking about coming out with is I really think it would be cool if you could buy custom end caps for your bars. Let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see. If we made some really cool, maybe collectible stuff or stuff with like logos or whatever it happened to be um, that you could add to your barbells for bars like this where you're not necessarily a huge fan of the end cap. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see down below in the comments. Also, if you have any questions on this bar, like I said, I have used it a bunch. I will have it here in the gym for a long time. This bar I bought for me, for the people that I train. It's not going to get traded out like the bars that I, that I buy for review only. So this is going to be here a long time. If you have any questions, please, please drop that in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. And until the next review, thanks for hanging with me. I'm Tim from Gym Crafter.